Dean Kaname has got some really nice runners come Thursday. So let's, without further ado, Dean, you've got two runners in race five. The first in ready or not with Keegan up. Yeah, ready or not, unfortunately badly drawn. You know, last time he was well drawn and uh, only got going the last sort of 200 metres of the race. But, uh, you know, his horse I think will stay all day. I have not put blinkers on him. We'll just maybe sharpen him up better because he just take time to quicken up top of the straight. Uh, but he's doing well and he's, and he's knocking at the door to win his maiden place. Unfortunately, that's a pretty tricky draw, but he's in good shape. Spirit of Silvano, he seems to have been doing well since the blinkers have been on the last couple of runs. Yeah, also knocking on the door to win a race. Um, long running will suit him. Also takes about a time and then kicks at last sort of three, four hundred metres of the race. Well, the last three hundred metres of the race, he's nicely drawn. And um, he's a horse, you know, he's going to be right there, I think. So if all goes his way, he could he could be ready to win his first maiden plat. Race six, past the norm, really nice sort. Um, last time out, maybe a, a bit tough for him. Yeah, I think his last one was a good run because um, McGrant rode him and he, he slipped it on the inside and actually thought he was going to run into the first four. And, uh, and but he finished, uh, he ran, a, I thought, a, a nice race. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm going to put him back over 1,800 metres. That's not a problem. And uh, obviously it's, not, uh, it's a competitive little race, but uh, he's also it's doing exceptionally well. I mean, he's, he's, he's formed, he's got terrific form prior to running in that grade two, grade uh, group two, some of the better horses around. So I think uh, small field, open race, but he's, he's, doing, he's doing very well. I think he should have a big say in that race. Race seven, William Rufus, and um, he's the type of horse that led from a wide draw. Yeah, William Rufus the last time, and in actual fact, I thought a stronger race. And uh, Keegan found himself in front. Um, I don't think it was ideal. He really wanted to find something he could never soft lead and follow through. But uh, he was galloping strongly until the last furlong, and he had enough. But uh, so it didn't really work out uh, his way on uh, his last race. And I, I think this time, definitely don't leave him out. He's doing well. Race eight, let it burn. He looks to have a good turn of foot, this horse. Yeah, let it burn is a horse that uh, ran a good race last time. I think he's, he's came back from a break. He's he's doing well, and uh, I'm, I haven't put him back around the turn since he came back from that break. I'm always convinced that he's looking for a mile, but he's run some terrific races over 1,200. And uh, you know, after this race, I'll decide if we're going to. I'll speak to to the, the owners and say, you know, let's try him now over a mile. But uh, he was he got going late last time and the time before, but uh, you can never leave him out. He's he's doing well. Thank you. All right, thanks for keeping. Steen Kaname taking us through his runners, and uh, some of them really look to be in with a good sh shout. So make sure you've had, got those notes.